social. I am joined by a guest. And uh, this is a conversation that you stick around for because it's all about branding. And if you own a business, if you want to get into a business, if you're all, your own business, this is a conversation for you. So you're talking about brand development strategies. And I'm joined by Anna Marura. She is the director of Mark, 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 Events, uh, Mark Events Branding. And uh, she'll be taking us through what it entails when it comes to branding and uh, developing your own brand and a couple of strategies just to make your name of a company or yourself as an individual be known out there in the market space that you're targeting. Thank you very much and for creating time to be with us. Thank you Michelle. You really look good. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, Sasa, so, yes. this is the time for us mm -hmm. and uh, for, for someone who's uh, meeting you for the first time, tell us who Anne uh, Marura is. Okay. Uh, my name is Annette Marura. Mm -hmm. I'm the CEO mm -hmm. and the founder, Mark mm -hmm. Venters, mm -hmm. Branding and Supplies Limited. Mm -hmm. um, generally, first and foremost, I'm a mother, all right. a wife, okay. and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when did this journey all begin? Uh, this journey began in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can say is, uh, actually, I was doing it even before that, mm -hmm. but I had not decided to do it in person. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was employed back then, uh, mm -hmm. I used to get that uh, those orders whereby like I go to school because what I used to do before mm -hmm. was partly like uh, branding but not really okay. with my company. Mm -hmm. So when I go like to schools, take uh, the other products where I was employed, uh, you find like the principals will be trying to find out like, uh, Annette, can you try and help us to find someone who can do for us t-shirts at a good price, eh? brand for us our games kits, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So along the way, that's where I, know, I was like, okay, I think I can do this, eh? mm -hmm. because I, I, it happened that one principal uh, refers me to another principal, you know, they keep on referring me to each other. Okay. So I, I was like, okay, I think I can do it. And so that's when uh, in 2015, I decided like, you know what, I'm going for it. All right. And, and what did you study in school <laughs> that uh, led to you be getting into the, the branding space? Uh, I did Bachelor of Commerce in, in uh, Finance. Uh, and after that, actually my first employer took me to sales department. Mm -hmm. Uh, my boss was like, you know, Annette, as much as you did finance, but again, I see how you re relate with the salespeople. So I think, why don't you try sales? So I went for sales. And uh, after that company, again, I went to another company for sales. And that's how my, my urge to do branding mm. came up. Would you say... Uh, mm -hmm. that someone requires to have a formal education to get into the branding space? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It's all about passion. It's passion. Because mm -hmm. uh, what I can say is like, pas uh, I can say like, uh, for example, like me, I did finance. But what happened is because I had the passion for sales. Mm -hmm. huh? And uh, uh, my boss saw that when I was employed. He saw the passion in me with sales. So he's like, you know, so it's all about passion. Mm -hmm. I, ca I cannot say about any education, but um, when it comes to education, it's where now graphic designer, most of the designers, they have gone to school to study particularly graphic designing. But again, I've seen other people who come there in our, in our offices and this person has that passion. Okay, so generally I can say it's about passion. It's all, it's ab it's all it's about passion. Back, boils yes. down to passion. Yes. If you want it, you go look for it. Uh, mm -hmm. Where can they gain these skills per se? Mm -hmm. uh, the skills they can gain them from, they can come to offices whereby people do branding. Mm -hmm. uh, they, okay, we allow, we allow these people who have the passion to come, mm -hmm. uh, take your time, go through what, uh, you see what the designers are doing, mm -hmm. or the people are doing other jobs, like maybe the screen printing, you know, or whatever jobs, huh? we allow. Okay. Because, uh, you know, we are also trying to help the youth, mm -hmm. the youth to, to know their 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 strength to achieve something you see so we allow them to come uh, they just come to the office they see what we do and they get to learn they decide what 
they really want to specialize in. All right, Annette. Yes. So let's get into the core business of today mm -hmm. and the topic which looks at uh, brand development strategies. Mm -hmm. So what is brand develop brand development? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or let's just start with brand. What is branding and how important mm -hmm. it is? Okay, branding is the act of creating mm -hmm. a symbol or a design that identifies an individual, an institution, a company mm -hmm. with the products or the services that they give. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what is brand development? Uh, brand development is whereby now um, a, uh, you come up with something for a company whereby you can help a company uh, create something that they can identify themselves with and see how they can use that symbol or design to, uh, to achieve their target in the market. All right. Yes. And for small SMEs that mm -hmm. are into the market mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. what are the key essentials they should look at when it comes to branding? Okay. Uh, the small businesses, uh, the SMEs, uh, what you can advise them, first and foremost, always have that logo. You know, a logo identifies a lot mm -hmm. with a business. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because I can't come to you and tell you, like, uh, I run maybe a salon, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. And then I just come, uh, I have no logo, I have nothing, because that logo, uh, what can I say, it has that emotional, Im emotional impact mm -hmm. with the client. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like if I'm walking along the street and uh, I tend to see a salon, with this salon I can see a logo, you know, with a name, yeah? and then maybe something identifying what they are doing, you know, automatically I'll be attracted to that. Mm -hmm. Rather than I just walk and see a, a name written salon, you see, mm -hmm. then... So it's very important, at mm -hmm. least for these SMEs, mm -hmm. to have an identification, a brand, that logo. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Okay, here yes. we are. Mm -hmm. We have created uh, a brand of our own. We have done everything that you've said. We have mm -hmm. a logo and everything. Mm -hmm. So how do we create a buzz around what you're doing so that, you mm -hmm. know, we mm -hmm. can get to be known, visible out okay. here? Uh, you can do it through now. That's when the merchandise come in. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we advise on merchandise. Huh? Um, you find, like, for example, I'm in a T-shirt. It's written Mark Venters, you know, Mark Venters branding or just Mark Venters Limited. You know, someone sees that T-shirt, sees the word Mark Venters Limited, the name. You know, curiosity, curiosity and with the technology right now, we have phones, we have the <laughs> smartphones, yeah? mm -hmm. whatever I am, I can just decide like, okay, I've seen someone with the T-shirt written Mark Venters. Behind the T-shirt is written maybe their website mm -hmm. www.markventers you see mm -hmm. so i'll just go straight away and see what does this mean i'm a, what 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 is the what is this name associated with you see mm -hmm. so uh, i can talk about merchandise mostly they at least that one helps to create the buzz again uh, I, i'll advise people on uh, things like websites uh, online like uh, we have the social medias facebook mm -hmm. pages they help a lot mm -hmm. Because now uh, we, can, we can say that uh, as, as time goes, eh? uh, uh, technology, technology is everything. Yes. It's everything. Especially during this time <laughs> of the pandemic, it proved yes. to us that your business has, has to be digitized. Yes, because I'll just be in my house and I'm like, oh, I need to go to the salon. But my usual uh, salon lady is not around. You know? So what do I do? Let me check online. Let me see. You know. So how you present your business online mm -hmm. again really matters mm -hmm. really matters because there's this person will just write the name i'll just make ventures someone will come write y254 but with a logo and something you know something mm -hmm. attracting attractive eh? you see automatically that's what will be eye-catching mm -hmm. rather than just the name you see so again i can talk about at least use social media the the semis should use a lot of social media they should go uh, have pages in uh, FBs, that is Facebook. They should also have pages in, uh, what do you call it, IG, that is Instagram, yeah. You know, and they should also be posting a lot of their product. They should be active mm -hmm. for them at least to have a name out there to create that curiosity and loyalty with their clients. All right. Yes. And I feel like when it comes to branding, it's all about playing with perception. Mm -hmm. And uh, take us to, uh, how as a business owner, mm -hmm. how can I align my brand mm -hmm. uh, with my target market? Okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you need to identify, you need to identify your target market. Because huh? uh, you see like, uh, for example, when it comes to maybe like, uh, I can say like for us, for branding, uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, I look at it and I'm like, okay, how do I approach this business to this business? You see, so I have to have a strategy. I have to have a strategy of what I'm doing. You see, so mostly it's about I need to know what I'm doing or what I really want. Okay. Yes. Speaking about strategy. Yes. All right. I believe in every business that you're getting into, unless you're very innovative, yes. there are other people, there's competition. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about uh, compet competition research mm -hmm. and uh, how can one identify their unique selling point? Okay, um, what I can say, yeah? mm, you know, in branding, your brand creates like loyalty to your clients. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from that, mm -hmm. to beat your competitors, uh, mm -hmm. you as a business person, having created your brand, you need to how that like uh, how how you relate with your clients mm -hmm. the the kind of services you give you see mm -hmm. and uh, how you relate with them after sell service is what i can say actually can can beat the clients because apart from branding you have to have a marketing strategy mm -hmm. yes you have to have a marketing strategy so that means if uh, for example um you just do like branding and then you just sit there and wait of course, your computers are coming up with something else. Oh, yes. This Every single day. Yes. <laughs> these computers will be like, okay, you know, like, for example, I can give, like, myself in branding. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be like, I don't want to just, you know what, be, uh, I don't want to market because what? I have the machines, I have everything, you know. But this client of mine will be like, eh, I have, no, have to beat my, com my competitors, I'll be doing this. They tell the client, I'll deliver, mm -hmm. you know. So he takes the products to the client. He goes out there to the clients when maybe a client wants something, uh, and maybe the client I'm in Patata or Facebook or somewhere. This person now goes to the client. So apart from branding, you know, we need to have strategy like, what do you do unique, which is unique, so that you can beat the, the com your competitors. Yeah. Yes. All right. Speaking about clientele, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Let's talk about customer uh, relation mm -hmm. and a couple of ways we, I can actually retain my own client. In the, even if I'm starting off in this, but in the, you know, small business, yes. how can I retain my client and how can I win potential clientele? Okay, uh, it, it's all about. I still talk about the strategy. You know, you, you know uh, how how I can get my clients or maintain them. Mm -hmm. It will be different from you. Very true. Yeah, it yes. will be different from what you're going to do. So what I can say, it depends. It depends with someone's strategy and how you understand your client. Mm -hmm. Yes, how you understand your clientele, what kind of a business it is. So in terms of uh, how to maintain your client and all that, huh, it all comes back to someone's business and how you do it as a person. Okay. Yes. All right. So how does brand positioning help to occupy a distinctive place in the market, in the market, you know, whatever you're doing as a business? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what I can say, um, branding, one, it creates trust. It creates trust because um, when you brand, you find that uh, there, there's identity. There's identity because someone will be more, more comfortable purchasing from you because they feel that having this person identifying the, themselves or you know having this brand eh, they, there's just that trust two you find that uh, it creates loyalty it creates loyalty mm -hmm. three you find that also the employees themselves they get encouraged you know they, uh, they identified with something yeah, you know, when the, a clan, uh, maybe an employee is working somewhere and people are like, ah, yeah, that's someone who's working for so and so. Yeah, I feel part of the, yeah, they the feel, organization. Yes, so that identification. So it also motivates the employees. Mm -hmm. um, we can talk about uh, branding automatically uh, generates revenue. Yes, it generates revenue automatically. Because, uh, <laughs> okay, in, in this way, yeah, yeah. we find that. As I have told you, uh, mm -hmm. how I do it, maybe like, a, like I can say personally for my company, as much as it's a branding company, how I do it, I have a website, mm -hmm. yes, I have a Facebook page, I have an IG page. Mm -hmm. So you see, so I'm very active on that. I make sure like I tend to update my clients or generally the, the society of what is happening, what's new with branding, you see, uh, what I do. So, you know, as, as, as you, you're active, you post and all that, huh? people get curious. So mm. you get people coming in and maybe 
calling you directly mm -hmm. or maybe inboxing you mm -hmm. to find more about your products you see and i can say that's how i get my clientele mostly oh, right. like 90 percent of my <laughs> clients i don't know them okay <laughs> yes right. talk to us about okay here i am i've already done exactly what you've talked about there's mm -hmm. the branding aspect of my business mm -hmm. so how important is brand management mm -hmm. and uh, do i actually need it uh branding is very important and actually in any business no matter how small the business is branding is very important because as i've said it creates that trust with your clients yes, 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 yes. there's loyalty mm -hmm. yeah it uh and then branding it it helps like it covers mostly or most of your marketing All right. it covers most of your marketing because you find that already if you brand yourself out there yeah already there are people who have created curiosity in them. So they will want to know more about your business or your company, you know. So already you are, you are doing marketing mm -hmm. rather than going there tactically as a person doing the marketing. Already the branding is doing for you some marketing. All right. Yes. Yes. Let's look at uh, in a situation whereby there is uh, a reputation or mm -hmm. damage mm -hmm. uh, for a particular, for your, for your business yeah. or even if you are your own business. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with that and control the just the damage control yes um what i can say yeah, mostly in business there's always up and downs you know uh no matter how good you try yeah, there's always that one way or another maybe one customer is not satisfied mm -hmm. and that customer could be eloquent could talk about it and you know mm -hmm. so what you do uh what i can advise is what you do first and foremost face it head on you know mm -hmm. don't don't go back defending yourself you know mm -hmm. look at it what has happened yeah mm -hmm. maybe there's this uh, customer was not satisfied mm -hmm. this customer has gone into media mm -hmm. wrote about it or something you know mm -hmm. uh face it head on first and foremost approach your client yeah approach your client that's courtesy talk to that client know where the problem is apologize you know mm -hmm. something like that then when you go back to where maybe the the client expressed themselves huh? now that's what you can do the damage controller there explain it's this and this and this that is af after having talked to the client because when you go again defending yourself before you talk to the client that can create even more sin you know mm -hmm. yes so first and foremost approach your client talk to your client and then from there now you can go back to the social media maybe where it was posted or something and talk about it uh, another thing I can talk because there are some who don't post, but it's something maybe even maybe employees have done it and it has maybe created some rift in your business, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always good to face it head on, accept the mistakes and, you know, always move on, you know, All accept. Right. Yeah. All right. A couple of mistakes that mm -hmm. uh, you have seen uh, businesses mm -hmm. uh, that are just starting off mm -hmm. do when it comes to branding mm -hmm. during the early stages. Mm -hmm. Uh, most mi mistakes are like f first and foremost this greed you know uh, whereby I want to come to you know uh, most people believe that branding business mm -hmm. has l and makes a lot of money yeah you see mm -hmm. so someone comes into the business and this person is directed by greed because you come with the perception that I mm -hmm. want to make this money very fast because yeah mm -hmm. there are people who come to that business and they make money very fast you see so you come with that perception whereby you want, like uh, you overcharge your clients, you know, such things, huh? Actually, that is very wrong, huh? So that's one. Two, uh, you don't have the passion mm -hmm. to do the business, but you want to come because Annette is doing it, I also want to do it. Annette is doing it, I can see that her life is okay because of this business, I want to be also in that position, you see? That's not the thing. You come in, you have no passion for that because uh <laughs> like i can tell you like um for example like during campaign times uh, mm -hmm. do you know we at times work overnight mm -hmm. and if th if there's no passion for that you'll get tired so fast mm -hmm. and then there's some sometimes your client will tell you fine i want to give you business but you know what for every product i want for you to brand for me i want a sample and that sample is on you Mm -hmm. yes it's on you so if you're not ready for that mm -hmm. you know that's already a business gone okay. you know and you already you get bored get bored and then there's some 
people you take, maybe clients you take their samples to, they're not satisfied. They'd be like, no, this material is not good. Can I have another sample, mm -hmm. you see? So it needs that passion, then time. It does not take your time. You need to have to take your time at least to know your client, to understand your clients. Because before branding, this is what we do. We call designs. You have to do design. You know, and there's some clients, you, you send the design, they check, they're like, no, there's a spelling change mistake here. Yeah, yeah, change mm -hmm. here. No, uh, I was thinking, oh, even maybe you've sent and you've mm -hmm. already agreed. So what you're like, okay, now I'm waiting for at least uh, maybe some payments for me to start the business for commitment. Mm -hmm. The client will be like, Okay, okay, fine, I'll send tomorrow. Then comes tomorrow, I'll be like, I'll send the designs again, like, no. I've talked to some pe few people and they're like, no, why don't you do this? How do you deal with that, being patient and all yeah, that? You have to be patient. Mm. You have to be patient. And then um, when, 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 when you're already starting the, when you're starting the design, yeah, mm -hmm. you need to talk, talk to your client and let the client understand that, you know what, uh, we are doing for you this design. And what we give is, mm -hmm. we give this at least this, time for mm -hmm. corrections and all that huh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and please this back and forth has to be like minimize on the time of back and forth you yeah. know yes you have to agree like kindly i've sent you this uh design the first design take all your time look at it uh indulge your friends or something you know and then after that you see you come up with all the corrections because mm -hmm. you can be even because it could be very much time consuming <laughs> yes it oh, can right. but so patience is all about it and understanding your clients you know mm -hmm. yes so and how can people find you across all social media mm -hmm. if they want to keep this conversation going if they need your services okay uh you can find me on social media that is facebook mm -hmm. um Okay, my, fa <laughs> yes, my Facebook camera page, today, yeah. yes. my Facebook page is Mark Venters Branding mm -hmm. and Supplies Limited. Uh, my website is www.markventersbranding.com. On email, you can find us at info at markventersbranding.com. Our number is 0721173018. All right, thank, thank you very much. And Marura for creating time to be with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. And talking to us about matters pertaining brand development and strategies. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So guys, back at home, uh, we have come to the end of the show. Make sure you create time next Tuesday. The time frame as usual is 7 till 10 a.m. at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. So make sure you keep the conversation going across all our social media platform. Again, it's at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira. So enjoy the rest of your viewing. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Uh, uh, keep it right here on Y254 channel. Remember, we're celebrating four years and we're celebrating with you. Have a nice day. <laughs>